You can do the dishes. No way. That's why I had kids. <laughs> Dad, I found something I really want. I hate that look. Whenever he gets that look, I never like the next thing he says. Never. A motorcycle. My record is intact. <laughs> Tony, I told you before, now that you're sober, I'll help you buy a small car. But if you want a motorcycle... You're on your own. But check this out, Dad. A motorcycle will pay for itself. How? I'm gonna jump the fountain at Caesar's Palace. <laughs> Tony, you're making progress. A year ago, you had no goals at all. So what do you say, Dad? Dinner will be ready in an hour. Goodbye. Bye. Sorry I'm late. I had to stay after school for a trumpet practice. I'll have dinner ready in... Oh. Oh, Blossom, I'm sorry. I forgot to leave you a note. I don't know what I was thinking about. I've got a guess. <laughs> uh, look, I know it was your night to cook, but uh, Elaine is making us her special pasta. You remember Elaine? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, I didn't know you played the trumpet, Blossom, classical or jazz? A little of both. I'm trying to get first chair in our group. That is so interesting. I'm sorry, Blossom. Maybe you can cook tomorrow night. No, that's okay. I'm sure Elaine's a better cook than me anyway. I doubt that. I'm just sorry I knocked that old man down and ripped his lettuce out of his hands. <laughs> Want to taste? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Do you undo the buttons, or do you wait for her to do it? Joey, you are like this incredibly disgusting person. Hey, I'm not talking to you. Well, I'm talking to you. Don't you ever think about anything other than sex? There is nothing other than sex. <laughs> Joey's got a date with a senior. Yeah, Helen Cordick. She's a major sex maniac. <laughs> Joey... Sometimes guys tell stories about girls that are not based on facts. More facts? Fact. She's been to France. Fact. She's been to Europe. And fact, she's supposed to take this anti-nympho medication, but she doesn't. She's going to be all over me. <laughs> so do you like her, Blossom? Elaine? Yeah, sure. You hate her. No, she's fine. Fine? What do you want me to say? I've only met her a few times. I don't have an opinion yet. <sighs> Finished. You want to come to a movie with us tonight? Oh, thanks, Anthony. I'd love to, but auditions for first chair in the brass ensemble are this week, and I've hardly practiced at all. First chair? It's like a major deal, huh? Well, it means you're the best in the class. Okay, kiddo, if you need to practice. I absolutely cannot go to the movies with you. You're sure? I cannot go to the movies. Okay. Bye. Hey, Blossom, you want to watch a video with your dad and me? Can't. I'm going to the movies. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Maybe you're blowing the wrong end. I can't concentrate. Oh, sorry. I'll come back later. No, it's not you. It's this woman my dad's dating. Oh, what's wrong with her? I don't know. There's just something about her I don't like. She's... what? I don't know what it is. I just don't like her. She's too nice or something. You're kidding. What a witch. <laughs> and she's smart. The conniving tramp. And she's beautiful. Let's kill her before she reproduces. <laughs> and that's not all. She walks around the kitchen like she owns the place. And she took the big wooden spoon from the picture and she put it away in the silverware drawer. <gasps> oh, not the silverware drawer! <laughs> And then at dinner, she said that it was so interesting that I played the trumpet. She said it just like that. So interesting. <laughs> oh, Blossom. Maybe she thought it was interesting. Oh, sure. Take her side. <laughs> she just annoys me. Well, your dad seems happy. Yeah. So did Kurt Waldheim when he had his picture taken with Hitler. <laughs> Tell you what, Blossom. We'll take your mind off of this. We'll put on mascara and see if we can sneak into a movie right at NC-17. A very attractive offer, Six, but I gotta practice. I wish this audition wasn't this week. I wish my father wasn't dating this woman. I wish I had a little more control over my life. I wish Richard Gere was 15. <laughs> I'll call you later, okay? Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. I like the idea of making out in the backseat, Anthony, but there may be a problem. What's that? The other people on the bus. Morning. We'll pick this up later. More sex talk, Joey? Just a wild guess. Yeah, like, you don't have any questions, Miss Goody Two Shoes? It's natural to be curious, Joey, but not to the exclusion of everything else in the universe. Well, for your information, I also think about sports. The complete man. Hey, check this out. Whoa, nice Harley. Aren't those expensive? About uh, 12 grand, but I'm on my way. How much have you saved? Uh, just enough to buy the brochure. <laughs> those brochures are supposed to be free. Damn bikers. <laughs> yeah, well, is Dad awake? Oh, I'll bet he's awake. Is he still in bed? Oh, I'll bet he's in bed. <laughs> what is this idiot talking about? Dad called. He spent the night at Elaine's. He slept there? I seriously doubt that. Hey, hey that hurt. Good. I can't believe Dad did that. Well, you know how he is about bringing his dates here. I guess he still feels strange about it. He should feel strange about it. I know I feel strange about it, don't you? Well, no. It's been four years since Mom split. Dad's, you know, normal guy. Yeah, he's not a monk. Four years? God, if I didn't go for four years, I... Joe, you haven't done it for 16 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but once I start, I'm not stopping. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, but I don't like the idea of Dad and that woman together. Well, I think this one could be it. So do I. But when you say this could be it, what do you mean exactly? It? Marriage. And this doesn't bother you? No. It makes me glad for him. Yeah, I think it would be great. Imagine having a fox like that for a stepmother. <laughs> think we could get her to spank us? I can't believe you two are discussing this so calmly. I don't think it's a good idea. In fact, it's a horrible idea. Dad hardly knows this woman. She could turn out to be evil, nasty, and cruel. She doesn't even know how to put silverware away. Hey, take it easy, Blossom. What do you mean, take it easy? Our father is going to marry some horrible person, and I've got no control at all. I hate this. Okay. Say I bring Helen back here, right? And she says, let's get in the hot tub. What I say, I'll go get my bathing suit, or great, let's just go in naked. The first thing I'd say is, 
Sorry, Helen, we don't have a hot tub. And when you're finished doing that, you can wax the floor, polish all the silver, and, oh, let's see, wash the lawn. You're an awful person, Elaine. <laughs> That's right, sweetheart, but your daddy doesn't know that. Well, I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> Just try. I'll be walking the dogs, dear. Thank you, darling. Mm. Can't you see what a jerk she is, Dad? Oh, you're still angry we gave you room to the dogs. Well, it didn't make me real happy. We're going to put a nice tent out in the yard for you while we redecorate. Shouldn't take more than a year. Or two. <laughs> I wish you'd go away. I wish you'd vanish. I wish you'd both just disappear. Did you hear that, honey? She wishes we'd both just... <laughs> what a couple of losers. <laughs> Who are you? Your fairy godmother, doofus. You've got two wishes left. I've got two wishes left? That's right. You're in control now, sweet face. Wait a minute. Where'd you come from? Marla Maple's house. Now, there's a chick that knows how to wish. All right, let's get this show on the road. What are your other two wishes? And be careful, whatever you wish for, you're going to get. Gee, I don't know. How about one of these? Hi, I'm Richard Gere. I'm 15 years old. Too late. You gotta move quick on these things, kid. I don't know what to wish for. You know? You're starting to annoy me. Yeah. What's it gonna be, huh? 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 Hey, okay. I got it. I wish for world peace. Oh, how original. There you go. You want that wrapped? Hey, you cheated me. Eh, yeah, tell it to the Marines. So what's it gonna be, Chuckles, huh? Come on. Make a wish. Make a wish. Hey. How would you like to see Mel Gibson stretched out naked on this sofa? No, wait a minute. That is my wish. So? Okay, this is very important. I don't want you to trick me again. Look, sugar puss, you got five seconds left, and then I'm out of here. All right? Four, three, two. Oh, I, I wish none of this had ever happened. Boy, was that dumb let me just give you a tip if you should ever get this opportunity again which i sincerely doubt the first thing you should wish for is a hundred more wishes sayonara sucker she wishes we both just, just disappear. disappear well that's not going to happen little girl not now not ever <laughs> Come in. Hey, Agnes. Hey. Picked up your dry cleaning, your mail, and I thought maybe you could use a quart of milk. I could use a quart of gin. <laughs> but I'll settle for the milk. So am I talking to the first chair of the high school brass ensemble? Hmm? No. I came in second to Jerry Moscow. It's the human spit valve. <laughs> oh, sorry, kiddo. It's her fault, you know. I know. Who? Who? Mm-hmm. Elaine the Pain. Remember, I told you about her. If I wasn't so preoccupied with the possibility of my father marrying her, I'd have buried Jerry Moscow. Has he asked her to marry him? No, but it's just a matter of time. She's got her claws in him, and she won't let go. When you shake your head, do you hear anything rattling in there? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean, from what you told me, your father and your brothers kind of like this thing. Of course they do. They're men. <laughs> and you think this Elaine person is what? Manipulative? Exactly. I knew you'd understand, Agnes. Do you have any advice? Never use the jacuzzi on a Greek fishing boat. <laughs> I'll 
take note of that. However, I would really appreciate some advice about the situation with my father. Okay, you want some good advice, or do you want me just to tell you what you want to hear? Tell me what I want to hear. <laughs> You're absolutely right about everything. I want good advice. Mind your own damn business. <laughs> Hi, Blossom. How are you? Fine. Uh, you want to taste the sauce? No, it's none of my business. <laughs> Where'd you get that apron? Oh, it was in the drawer. Why? That's my mother's apron. Oh, I didn't mean I to... I know what you're doing. Cooking? <laughs> my father happens to be very vulnerable right now, so maybe it's easy to fool him. The same thing is true of Anthony. And Joey still gets fooled by, I got your nose. <laughs> but you can't fool me. You think you can come in here and put spoons anywhere you want to and get married before anyone realizes what's going on? Well, I'm here to tell you it's not going to happen. Blossom. Please don't interrupt. I've been thinking about this stuff for days now, and I just want to get it out if you don't mind. Of course. <laughs> that polite thing doesn't score any points with me either. <laughs> I just hope for your sake that you never put my father in a position where he has to choose between you and me. Because you're going to come in second, and I'm going to be in the first chair. You follow me? Actually, no. Yeah, right, you know. Just because you can make spaghetti sauce doesn't mean you're a good person. <laughs> and these pots and pans happen to belong on the left side under the sink, not the right. <laughs> Joey? It's open! <clears throat> Why are you doing this? Chicks dig a rippled stomach. <laughs> they do? Yeah, they do. Haven't you ever seen a perfume ad? Plus, tonight's my date with Helen. I'm thrilled. <sighs> yeah, me too. Do chicks prefer boxers or briefs? Uh, look who I'm asking. I wear both. <laughs> <sighs> So, you gonna eat dinner at Six's house again tonight? That depends. Where's Elaine gonna eat? She's not eating here. What do you mean? <laughs> Seventeen, eighteen, a hundred. <laughs> Dad told Anthony that they split up. Who split up? Dad and Elaine. They split up? That's what he said. Oh, God. What's the matter? You didn't like her anyway. Yeah, but... Dad liked her. I mean, I didn't want her to marry him, but I didn't want her to walk out on him either. I feel terrible. How's he taking it? You know as much as I do. It's all my fault. I came down real hard on her. I scared her off. What'd you say? I told her I knew she was trying to get Dad to marry her and that I wasn't going to let it happen. Why'd you do that? I don't know. That's big time stupid, Blossom. I know. I thought about it, too. What? About telling her to buzz off. You did? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I just didn't like the way she moved around the kitchen. She did it wrong. <laughs> but that really sounds dumb, huh? No. I know exactly what you mean. Like... The way she shut the refrigerator door with her hand. Right, Mom always used to bump a clothes with her hip. Right. That's how you do it, too. Do I? Never thought about it. So you talked to her lately? About three weeks ago when she called from London. Yeah, me too. She said she was singing to some club and Raj's store came in. Wow. Big deal. Exactly. She'll probably be calling us sometime next week. I think about once a month she gets guilty for splitting on us. Sometimes I think I understand why she did it. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we're these incredibly great kids or anything. No, that's not it. I mean, there are a lot worse kids than us. Matter of fact, I think we're pretty great. From what was it? She says she and Dad grew apart. Guess that's what happens. I guess. 
and her singing. I think she felt her chance fading away. She didn't want to die wondering if she could have made it. Must have been a tough choice. Yeah. Sometimes I can actually sympathize with her. Yeah, me too. Sometimes I really hate her. Yeah. Me too. What is with this outfit? Motorcycle gear? I feel like Darth Vader. This is so cool. <laughs> the force is strong in this one. When did you get a motorcycle? I didn't. Just got the outfit. You just got the outfit. You didn't fall off the wagon, did you? No, but if I do, I've got a helmet. Anthony. See, the thing is, I want to get a motorcycle. Dad says I'm on my own. Now I've got a goal. It may take me a while, but I will do it. Well, that's great. Yeah, the suit was on sale, so it's sort of like uh, planning for the future. Cool. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I'd lose the helmet. What are you kidding? I'd never go anywhere without my helmet. Use your instincts, Luke. <laughs> Use the door, Luke. Hey, Joey, how was your date with Helen? I struck out. What happened? Nothing. Zip, zero. No second base to a first base. I didn't even get the bat in my hand. Well, I played it so cool. I was polite, courteous, never made a move. I was like a perfect gentleman. So? She actually liked that. When I dropped her off, she said, let's do it again next week. No kidding. That's what I said. Do what again? We didn't do anything tonight. You don't get it, do you? I certainly didn't tonight. This girl wants to see you again. That's good. Most of your dates end with the girl running away screaming, for the love of God, somebody call 911. So what's your point? This girl likes you. You may be on the verge of an actual relationship. Oh, she thinks I'm nice. She thinks I'm a gentleman. If this gets out, it's going to ruin my reputation. <laughs> See you. Oh, hi. Hi. Thought you'd be asleep. No, I'm going to watch the old Dick Van Dyke show. It's the one where Laura gets her toes stuck in the tub faucet and hijinks ensue. <laughs> Whatever gets you through the night. Actually, I'm lying. I want to talk to you. Really? I want to talk to you, too. <sighs> I hear you had a little trouble with Elaine. I'm really sorry I was wrong. No, you were inconsiderate, rude, and completely out of line. And you were wrong. All right, let me explain. See... When a person peels potatoes, they should do it over the sink, not onto wax paper, you know what I mean? So this is about potatoes? Not just potatoes, dishwashers too. Forks up, not down, everyone knows that. Look, if you have a problem, you come to me. I'm your father. If you had come to me, I would have sat you down and told you in a fatherly way that it was none of your business. But, Dad, it was my business. You were going to marry her. If I was actually going to marry her, don't you think I would have told you? Oh. Look, Blossom, I'm going to date. And you're not going to love everyone I date. Hell, I'm not going to love everyone I date. <laughs> but if you have concerns about it, I don't want to hear it from a third person. I feel terrible. I know what I'll do. I'll call her, I'll apologize, I'll patch things up. Blossom, listen to yourself. Mind my own business. Bingo. Now, come over here and listen to me. 
You did not cause the breakup. Really? Really. But your name was mentioned. <laughs> you see, Elaine's not ready to take on three kids, and I'm not ready to get rid of you. Thanks, Dad. The fact is, it's going to take a very special woman to come into this family. A brave woman. A woman with weapons. <laughs> and when she gets here, I'll let you know. Deal? Deal. That potato thing bugged the hell out of me, too.